Hey everyone, it's Donna Merrill from DonnaMerrillTribe.com and that's a picture of my blog, if you can make it out, I don't know, but um, hi there, I'm glad you joined. Okay, um, I'm just starting this broadcast now and it's all about camera shy, okay, and how come you're camera shy? Okay, I always do this. I always switch it twice. Okay, here I am. Hi, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, two rules here. Please, please, please give me some hearts. Um, also, please give me, you know, your name if I can't see it. Um, that will be wonderful. Um, I would like that. Meanwhile, my phone's going crazy with messages, so if you hear ding, 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 um, don't just... Just ignore it. Um, oh, I see hearts. Thank you for hearts. I love hearts. The blue hearts. Yay. Um, so, you know, so many people are camera shy. And this is why I wanted to address this issue today. Because um, Don Merrill from Don Merrill Tribe. I am a internet marketing coach and blogging coach also. Um, so, I, I do find with working with many, many people that they are so afraid to get in front of the camera. Okay, um, I used to be afraid. Um, I'm going to give you some tips of how to get over it because I did. Um, when I came online eons ago, it feels like, because on, the online world is very, very, you know, moves very quickly, very quickly. But when I first came online, everybody there seemed to be like my son or daughter, and I was much older. So I was really scared. <laughs> you know, I was like, get on camera. What do I say? What do I do? How do I look? Oh my God. You know, so all these things were happening to me. And then I says, no, no, no. I have to do it for my business. So I put myself through a 30 day YouTube ch uh, challenge where I did thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, follow me, share. Do what you can do. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Um, but, you know, it's it's really funny. Um, I, I could tell you through my own experience a short little story, okay? Um, one of the reasons why a lot of people are camera shy is that they have very low self-esteem. And I had the lowest self-esteem on the planet. Um, it wasn't until I was about 30 years old that I... I boosted up my self-esteem. I went out and got some help because I started reading self-help books. I started watching things on, you know, TV of, you know, self-esteem, how to grow, this, that. Went to therapy. Nothing was working until I got hypnotized, okay? So, <laughs> thank you. Um, so, nothing was working until I got hypnotized. And when I did, it was a funny experience because um, I was the person, I was the kid in, in school who never raised their hands because I was afraid to talk, who n was afraid of authority, came from, you know, not so great backgrounds. I don't want to get into all the, the boohoo about that. But it caused me to have really low self-esteem and I would never be in front of this camera today with you guys unless I went out and got some help. So if you're dealing with self-esteem, oh, thank you for the hearts. I love hearts. I love hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if I didn't have, you know, if I didn't go get help with my low self-esteem, I would have never been able to start a business or be who I, you know, self-esteem is like really weird, but uh, maybe that's getting off topic. I can do a whole scope about that one. I can talk like forever about how to change your self-esteem, but get out there and do something about it. You know, get out there and do something about it if you're dealing with low self-esteem, okay? Um, there's plenty of help out there. There's coaches. There's online people. There's hypnotists. There's so much help. Go out and get it. If, you know, because self-esteem is like this big cloud over your head and, and you can't break through and you feel like you're in the big shell. I've been there, guys. I've been there. And I once I broke out, it was like, wow, eye-opening, you know? So that may, you know, that may hinder your camera shyness, okay? Um, I see I do have notes. I carry my notes because <laughs> if I don't, I don't stay on point and I don't want to be blabbing and get off, off topic. That's another thing, okay? I am a speaker. I do products. I, I blab all over the place, but I always have a few notes in front of me to keep me on point, okay? So, that's the thing you could do if you're camera shy. Have a few notes, okay? Now, the first time you get on camera, um, okay, we, we, we discuss low self-esteem, uh, and I want to talk about two other fears. Um, with women, 
a lot, and, and I don't find this mostly in men, but I find this with us women, we're afraid of what we're going to look like. You know, we got to do our hair, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. Lots of people feel it, fear that way. And I had many clients of mine, you know, saying, oh, I got it all dressed up. You know, you, you don't. Um, you could put on your glasses. You could, there's many ways to do that. You could fix your lighting. You, you could do it in a dark scene. There's so many ways you could do it. Um, keep those hearts coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but when, you know, you could have fear of what you look like. But as anything new, um, once you're on there, um, I always find that we are our best critics, you know, it's like, oh my God, the first time I started, I was like, I looked at every fault I had. I says, oh no, this didn't look good. That didn't look good. My hair wasn't right. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, I didn't want to look at it, <laughs> but the more you do, the better. The best way to get yourself over the fear of camera, okay, issues is to do a 30-day challenge for yourself or there's some groups out there that do it you can find a group or you know do it with someone that you know that's accountable for you you could always you know delete delete it if you want um, but what's important about you know being in front of that camera what's important about not being camera shy what's really important is the no like and trust value okay um, when I do a blog, I'll put in a two-minute video. Two-minute videos work really great because people don't have the time to sit here and watch a real long video, unless you're doing a tutorial. Um, but a two-minute video on the content of my blog, you know, I'm like, hey, I'm Donna Merrill, and, you know, today I'm going to talk to you about blah, 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 blah. Um, hope you all enjoy it. You know, so, so they get to see who I am. They get to see who I am. They get to either resonate with me or not. Um, so I call, you know, doing video in any shape, form, or form a virtual handshake. Um, and, you know, I, I find it really great when, uh, you know, I'm an avid blogger and, and I always see words. And then sometimes I see someone that has done a video and I say, wow, now I really like this person, you know, because... There's something there that we could see it. And here, when we're doing periscopes, it's live stream. There's, you know, we're not, we're not like sitting here, you know, giving a bunch of tutorials and whatever. We're engaging with people. Um, and it's live stream. So it's, it's really giving a chance for us to be out there and engage with others. And, you know, we, hit, we could hit the replay. We could put it on YouTube or whatever, catch it, whatever you use. Um, thanks for the hearts. Uh, and... You know, it, it's really important that you get yourself on there because people really want to know who you are. And, you know, you can have a picture, you can have words, but nothing really shows your energy as much as a video. Um, and it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. People are not there to, to look at you and critique you. You know, they're out there to get to know you. And that's the best way to do the no like and trust. I know some people in the market that still won't get in front of the camera. Um, I, I remember I was I was uh, studying with this huge guru that I paid thousands of dollars for um, in DC, and he's a speaker. Okay, he's an he, he's an international speaker, and he had told me that you know I said how do you do it, and he's, he gets like fifty thousand dollars or more to speak all over the world. And he says, you know, Donna, every time I have to speak, I get nauseous. I get up there and I get nauseous. Every time I'm in front of the camera, I get nauseous. Now, here's a guy who has, like, tremendous experience. He's been a guru online, offline for many, many years. They get, nause they get nauseous. They get, they get stage fright. We all get stage fright. Um, so that comes with it. It's okay. Okay, I'm giving you permission. It's okay. All right? Um, but think about the fears. Um, one of the fears is what you're going to say. You know, what are you going to say? Um, a lot of people have told me, I don't want to get on video because everybody's talking about, you know, this and this niche. Okay. Um, everybody's talking about it. Everybody's writing about it. It's okay. It's coming from you. Um, I do Periscope. I'm just new at Periscope, so I'm trying to help my clients and followers to join me here because I think it's a, it's a really great platform. Okay, so, you know, and they're camera shy. They're like, I never did a video. What am I going to do? I says, well, you know, get on YouTube, do a couple of them, screw it up, um, and you'll be fine. Just get in front of the camera. You'll be okay. You know, even if you do five minutes, you'll be okay. Just try it. As anything new, we have to try it. Um, and, and if you're 
afraid about what you're going to say, all you have to do is write down a little outline. Okay, so now I'm writing a little outline to keep me posted. Um, and, and this way I'm not, you know, freaked out about what I'm going to say, what I'm going to do. Um, I have, you know, something here to, to go by and I don't want to make it too long because I know people don't have the time to spend, you know, watching, you know, something too long, but thanks for those hearts. You are so sweet. Thank you. Um, but having an outline is like protection. Okay. So if you're going to do a video and you're real scared, um, have an outline, have three points maybe that you want to talk about. Uh, you don't want to make it too long. You don't have to make it too long. Um, have those three points and it, it's like you're like, I've got my security blanket here. Um, it, it's like a little security blanket for, for us to, to go on. And if you notice that most people that do talk always have kind of an outline um, to prepare you know, for themselves. And, um, you know, being camera shy um, is is not going to do anything for your business. You really, really got to get over it. Okay, if you don't get over it, um, it's going to hinder your business because what is it that you have to be scared of? Okay, what is it? You know, your your low self esteem. You, you know, the way you look, what you're going to say, how you're going to say it, the whole bit. I'm sitting here, you know, and I do many, many videos. Um, with my Brooklyn accent, I talk real fast, um, but that's who I am. And, and you know, some people like it, some people don't, but the people who do say, hey, I like that. You know, I, I, where you come from? I think I hear a little Brooklyn there, you know, but just do it. Just do it. Be who you are, because no matter who you are, if you're giving out good information to others, it's going to only help you. Um, and, and it helps through this virtual handshake that we have and this wonderful technology that we have with video and now a Periscope. Um, if you've never done a Periscope, I would suggest that you do a couple of videos, um, you know, on your, on your computer by yourself in private. Um, just keep doing them. Give yourself a challenge. Um, I just I just seen on Facebook um, I'm going to be a guest on uh, someone's show, and she tried a, as a Periscope person, and she tried to do a first Periscope, and she screwed up royally, and she laughed and laughed and laughed at herself. She had a great sense of humor, and she's like, "Look what I'm doing," and, and what does that do? That shows all her followers that, hey, you can do it too, you know, you can do it too, because she's like a great leader, and she's like, oh, I'm just trying this Periscope thing, I'm going to have Donna and somebody else come on the next Tuesday to do it, but I'm going to try it, and she royally screwed it up, but it was a hoot, you know, it was fun, she has a good sense of humor about herself, and no one cared, I mean, I, th I think it was a smash, smash hit of what she had done, um, so shout out to Delilah Talley here, uh, but uh, it, it was really great, and she does interviews and videos all the time, that's her business, but, you know, Periscope is new to her, so she screwed it up, so don't be afraid to screw things up, it's okay, I keep, um, on YouTube, I keep my, my old, old videos on there, and, and, and some of them are outdated, some of them are horrific, um, Terrible. I don't think I look good. I don't think what I said was good. But when I get a new client in, or I'm trying to, you know, encourage people, get on there. Don't be camera shy. I send them to my old, you know, I'll just like send them to an old uh, YouTube video. I said, look what I did over here. You know, look what I did. And I had the nerve to put this out on social media. And, you know, it's okay because I did it for my business. You know, it it, it was lousy. It, it didn't make sense, whatever. But I had good response. Um, another thing you can do is um, if you're camera shy, keep it down to two minutes, okay? Keep it down to two minutes so you don't have this big thing to say. Um, keeping things small when you're first starting out, you have to practice. Um, and keeping things small, do it on your own, do it on your own um, computer and keep it small. Say something, you know, within two minutes and shut the camera off, look at it see what you did, whatever, you could post it up, you don't have to post it up, it's okay, you're new, or you can be totally honest, especially if you're, you know, been online for a while, and, you know, and you say, say you're a blogger, and you're online for a long time, and you're like, you know what, guys, I'm always behind words, but now I'm stepping up in front of that video to give you that virtual handshake, to see who I am, and, you know, whatever you, your message wants to be, and be honest with them. And if you're screwing it up, laugh at yourself. So, oh, boy, I'm really screwing this one up. Okay. Um, and, and continue on. Um, 
You could do that. You could upload it. People like that. People like to see mistakes, especially if you are a leader in your field. If you're a leader, um, especially you guys out there that are leaders and not in front of the camera, um, you know, you need to be, okay? I'm not God. I can't tell you what to do, but uh, you, I, I know marketing, and, and you need to be in front of that camera. Um, I had interviewed a few, like, real guru marketers, and uh, when I did, they were so scared, you know, uh, they, were, they were so scared, and I was like, how come they're scared when these guys are like mil bazillionaires, everybody knows them, um, you know, and I wanted to interview them, I wanted to, you know, interview them about their products or whatever, and, you know, put it up, and they were really scared, like before the interview started, they, they were telling me how scared they are, and I said, don't worry, I'll walk you through it, and I did, and I had one guy that couldn't talk he was just like you know like just stage fright you know but i got him to relax and we started talking so maybe that's another thing you could do maybe you can go on a google hangout uh which is another great platform to test yourself because you could always delete it um and go on there with a friend and start doing some videos together google hangouts are great to do too um because you could you could do it with a friend, so you can get there with someone. Someone's holding your hand as you're doing it, and you get used to it. It's like anything else we do online. Um, you know, being camera shy is something you just have to get used to. And knowing your fears, acknowledging your fears, okay? Um, if I would have started this years ago, I probably wouldn't do it because I had low self-esteem. And, and, I, and I wasn't able to do anything. So it would take me a little more time because I had low self-esteem that I had to work on. That takes a while. <laughs> and... Um, but I got over that one very quickly. Um, well, not very quick. I worked hard. Um, as anything, we work hard at it. But if you're afraid of, oh, how do I look? Um, what's my background? You know, I have a plain background. I know I, I know I could put a, a green board up there and be all snazzy and the whole bit. But you know, I have a plain background. That's it. Um, that's how I do my videos. That's how I do my products. I do it on a plain background. Whatever. Um, this is how I do it. So you don't have to go all crazy. Lighting is another problem a lot of times. Um, I have a light, one to my right and one to, you know, above me uh, to my left, okay? this I'm in daylight right now. It's really sunny. So this is not the best lighting for me, but that's okay. I'm on here anyway. Um, so don't get caught up in how am I supposed to do the lighting? How am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to do that? That'll come in time. You'll get better at that. You'll get better at fixing the light, fixing the backdrop. Um, I would also tell you, um, try to don't, don't put too much clutter in the backdrop. Um, a lot of times people are doing it from their office and all I, you know, and I get distracted because I see books and I see papers and whatever. Try to make it simple um, or lovely, uh, something nice uh, to attract the eye. But you have to get over the shyness. Um, if you go out there and you just kind of look at other people sometimes, and, you, you know, that'll encourage you. When I first started, you know, doing videos, I looked at some other people and they were talking like this and they were just sitting there giving instructional videos. And I was like, okay, two minutes, I am so bored. Um, that encouraged me. Uh, look at things that you don't like. Maybe they'll encourage you too. Um, but uh, also, keep a smile on. Um, I have a photographer, that uh, a professional photographer, that always says, keep a smile on and always show your top teeth, not the bottom. I always forget to do that. But um, a smile is contagious, okay? So when you're doing your video, you do a smile. We mimic each other, guys, okay? We all mimic. Y you know when people sit, you know, stay like this and you find yourself doing this or someone's doing this, you know, and then you find yourself you're doing this, the same time, you know, we all do it, right? Yeah, those are hearts, right? It, it, it's true. We all do it. Um, but if we're doing this, it's contagious. They start smiling too. Um, and, and you know, so so do it with a smile. Um, and when, back in my radio days, eons ago, I was I was taught how to, how to even speak with a smile. So no one seen me, but I was like, hi, I'm Donna Merrill, and blah, 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 blah. And the smile goes through the voice too so a smile always works um you don't have to constantly smile like this because that'll drive you nuts but you know give a smile once in a while and and greet people 
with a smile. Uh, it's a contagious thing, and it's a wonderful thing, and uh, makes people happy. And we're all out here to make people happy, to make people, you know, to, to give something to others. Um, that's the main reason why we are all here as marketers, bloggers, whatever. We're here to give value. Um, and, and I find that, you know, when, when I get new clients or, or even people I know, you know, and, and, the, and they're camera shy, and I'm like, would you get in front of the camera? You know, and, and I see them, you know, I chat with them, I hear them, I say, you know, you have a great voice, you have a beautiful personality, get, no, I'm not getting in front of that camera, mm -mm, not getting in front of that camera, why? Uh, when you find yourself saying no, 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 it's like this yang thing that you do, and then it stays in the back of your mind, like, oh, I should, I should, I should, and should should not be in our minds anyway. Um, so, you know, if you just release it and just try it, you know, just try it, try it on your computer. Um, what's stopping you? If, if there's something that's stopping you, um, acknowledge it. Write it down. Work on it. You know, just work on it. Because it is so important to be on videos these days and, you know, be in front of the camera. Because it is, it is absolutely important. Otherwise, you know, people are not going to get to know, like, and trust you. Hello, I see some people coming in there. Hi there. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts so much. Um, yeah, I always forget to tell people, please please follow me and share this on Twitter. Um, thank you. Thank you. Oh, look at those hearts. I love them. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, follow me and share on Twitter. Um, because I'll be doing this almost once a day, um, giving you some tips. Wow, look at those hearts. I, whoa, look at them. I'm loving them. I'm loving them. Thank you so much. Um, loving the hearts. See, it makes me smile. Um, you just made my day. See, you see the hearts coming here. You just made my day. So, I mean, if you're camera shy, just get in front of the camera. Now, look, I'm not a spring chicken here, okay? Most of the industry you know, was very young people. More and more people that are a little older are coming on. Um, and they're camera shy. They're like, oh, I'm too old to do this, you know. Well, come on. I got laugh lines. I'm proud of them. Um, I'm, I've been laughing for years, you know. I'm proud of those laugh lines. Yes, thank you for the hearts. Um, so, don't worry. It's, it's about you. You have to learn to accept yourself. Um, because people will will like you. People will learn to trust you. There's no better way um, to get people to then get that no like and trust value than to be in front of the camera. So if you can't do it for yourself, do it for your business. So to recap, okay, to recap, um, camera shy, uh, camera shy, um, you can't be camera shy because a video is a virtual handshake. Guys, it's a virtual handshake. Um, if you have low self-esteem, then understand you got to work on that, okay? Um, maybe you could do it anyway with some self-talk and say, you know, I have low self-esteem, but I'm doing this for my business, you know, and, and, and just plug along and do it anyway. Or if it's really, really bad, try to get some help, try to get out of that box, okay? I told you in the beginning, I have low self-esteem, I'm, I'm the highest on the planet. Um, and yeah, it makes you feel like this, right? Right. Anybody have low self-esteem? You feel like, oh. um, but you want to break open. Um, so, so, so go try to help yourself with that. Um, I tried so long, but hypnosis works so wonderful. Um, also, if you're afraid of what you look like, um, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just get up there. You're you. You know, you are you, thanks to those hearts. You are you, and you are a perfect human being. Uh, don't worry what you look like. Um, you know, just get out there and just do it. Because whoever you are, some people are going to like you, some people aren't. That's just a human fact. And fearing what you're going to say, um, have your security blanket. That's the recap. Have the security bl blanket here. I'm going to say this. That's what I'm going to talk about. Um, and I'll glance at this. And, and see, that's the recap. So I didn't forget what I was talking about in the beginning. Um, so thank you. Thank you for those hearts. Keep them coming, babies. Keep them coming. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're making me feel special today. <laughs> I really enjoy it. Um, but, yeah. If um, you like this, please, you know, tweet me out. Follow me. Um, share it. If you're on replay, you can still share it. Um, if you like it, I'll be very appreciative. If you follow me, you know I'm going to follow you back. Um, 
and I'm part of a wonderful group called Perry 10K. It is amazing, and if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be broadcasting every single day with this wonderful community. I just want to let everybody know that. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid. Get in front of that camera. Um, get in front of that camera. Start your video today. Don't give me an excuse that you're going to do it tomorrow. Don't say, oh, wait, I have to do it tomorrow. Um, you know, just do it today. Get on your computer. You don't have to show anybody, okay? Get on your computer and start just videotaping yourself. Okay, look at those hearts coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whoa, they're going all the way up there. Look at them, I love them, I love them. Look at them, tap, 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 tap on the screen. Loving them, loving them, loving them. And they match my outfit, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, but don't be afraid. You know, if I can get out here and do it, and, you know, you can too. Um, just don't be afraid. Get rid of fear. Fear is a terrible thing. It, it, it just holds you back. And it will hold back your business. And you don't want that to happen. Because most of you out here, I know, are doing some kind of business in some kind of niche. And if you're going to do that, you're gonna, they want to see the face of the person who is selling you something. Okay? So, until next time, thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to follow me. I'll follow you back. Share it on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you like. I would be much appreciated. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye now.